In part two, I'm going to show you how easy it is to write and play your first robot program. I'll now take the teach pendant from the front of the control box and using the simple touchscreen interface, I will go into the program robot menu and start an empty program. Now I press the structure tab and then the move button. This adds a move command and a waypoint into my program. The waypoint stores the target position for the robot. The move command tells the robot how to get to that position. For example, what sort of path to take and how fast to move. So now I'm going to save my first target position or waypoint into the program. So I will go to the command tab on the screen, select my waypoint and then press set this waypoint. Now this first waypoint I'm going to set using free drive mode. So by pressing the black button on the back of the teach pendant, I can put the robot into free drive mode so I can move it around freely by hand. Once I've moved the robot into the position that I want, I can press OK and the robot will then remember this position and we can move back to this position again. This is a very straightforward, simple programming method that practically anyone can learn. It doesn't require much special training, so you can cut down your implementation times and training costs. Now to save my second position in the robot program, I'm going to press the add waypoint after button and then set this waypoint again. Once again, I'll use free drive mode by pushing this button to move the robot roughly into position. And then I'm going to use the arrows on the touchscreen to make some fine adjustments to that position. Additionally, for even finer control, I can type in an exact target position into these boxes on the screen here. So while I can do rough movements with free drive mode, I can make fine adjustments using the touchscreen here. With these two waypoints saved, I now have a program that I can run. So in order to do that, I press the play button on the screen and the system prompts me to move the robot into the starting position, which I can do by holding the auto button. Once the robot has reached the starting position, I can press OK. And now when I press the play button again, the program will start to execute. Now we can see the robot cycling between the two waypoints that I have saved and the UR safety system is constantly monitoring the robot and if anything does block the path of the robot then the system will detect this and stop safely without any injury to anyone around the robot. So if I now put my hand in the way to block the path of the robot, it detects this, it stops and we see a protective stop pop up on the screen. We have 15 configurable safety functions in the system and in the next part we'll look at how we can configure these. Thank you.